بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنحتدي لولا أن هدانا الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today إن شاء الله my girls and my daughters will going to uh, have the tafsir of سورة الهمدة سورة الهمدة uh, At the beginning we uh, try to make an explanation of الهمدة Anyone can tell me what's meant by Al-Humaza? The one who knows, she can raise her hand. What's Al-Humaza means? Hmm. Anyone knows? Yes, Ya Alia. Humaza means backbiter. Well, al humaza means uh, here you can say not only the backbiter. The backbiter is um, a type of yani, definition that is go that we're going to inshallah uh, have it, but it is not the uh, only the meaning of al humaza because. Um, here, al humaza and al humaza, as we're going to uh, mention, it is the scroner. Al humaza is the scroner, and al lumaza uh, is a mocker. The scroner is al humaza, and al lumaza is the mocker. And if we're going to, uh, yani, um, have a definition, so in the humaza. It means the scroner or the person who is mocking or the mocker. You're going to say it is the mocker or the scroner. And now we're going to define what is the difference between the homaza and lumaza because most of them. Uh, they are speaking about the mocking, but mocking by actions and mocking by uh, by act, by, yani, by speech. This is what we're going to have in the first ayah. The first ayah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, is saying in it, "Wailun li kulli." So, while at the beginning, who knows the word while? What does it mean? Hmm. While, yes, yeah, karma. Well. Okay, what is meant by the word wa, which is, you can say it is a threatening word. So wa here is like a threatening word. This is one meaning. And uh, here, wa. Let us have the second meaning of wa, uh, of uh, while, sorry. So the second meaning of while is that while is the name of valley in hellfire. This is another meaning of while. So is it by the word wo or the, uh, meaning that a name, name of valley in the hellfire. Likulli, likulli means for every. So here in the tafsir, just to be attached to the tafsir that 
the uh, the homaza is refers to mocking by a speech. So the homaza, which is here the first one, is mocking by speech. Mocking by speech can be by trying to belittle the person in front of you or trying to call him with the worst name or you're going to yell at him in a bad way and also to backbite backbiting is considered in the home so mocking by any way of mocking by speech and backbiting this is home what is the meaning of backbiting Anyone can tell me the meaning of what does it mean backbiting? Yes, Yalia. Talking about somebody behind their back. In a bad way. Excellent. Yeah. So talking about somebody in a bad way behind his back, this is called a backbiting. Uh, and actually the Prophet والسلام, he mentioned that and even in the Quran mentioned that the backbiting is like you are eating the flesh of that, that person as if you are eating his flesh. Uh, so this is a very bad thing that uh, yani, we have to be very cautious, all of us, to be away from um, saying bad words about some or a people uh, or a, a person who is in his behind his back and i think it's very uh yani unfortunately and in your schools and in your college you may face like that and uh, a lot of children they are backbiting each other and they start to make gossip and uh, say bad words when you feel this you have to definitely and immediately away from such conversation you are not going to participate in a conversation that including a backbiting to a person while this person is Muslim or not Muslim. It's not our yani, idea. Here, the, our religion is prohibiting backbiting and the backbiter will have a punishment. As you can see here, uh, there will be punishment in the hellfire from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unless he will uh, repent to Allah and ask forgiveness. And uh, that person who was yani, mentioned in a bad way, he tried to speak about him again in a good way in order to uh, remove the effect of this sin, which is backbiting. So the homaza is to mocking by speech and backbiting. While the lumaza, Lumaza is actually mocking by actions. What does it mean mocking by actions? Yani it means that uh, this type of mocking through certain um, movement, movement of the eye, movement of the uh, of the lips or movement of the hands of the fingers all such bad actions is considered to be lomaza okay is it clear for every one of us now we'll go to ayah 2 ayah 2 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is start to saying to us other character of such bad person but this bad person by the way could be believer or disbeliever so what we are saying now in in this uh, ayat you you will not only put it in the frame for the disbelievers because it he could be a believer and have these characters so the second ayah is say 
مالا وعدده now we're going to translate this الذي ج... الذي means who this person who is the scroner just make it downwards here this person who are this who is a scroner and a mocker what else he did الذي جمع who collects مالا means money وعدده means and counting it counting it يعني he's not only collecting the uh, money but is he is counting it now when my question for you when I'm asking what does it mean counting it here when it comes to the area what you feel person who is collecting money and counting and in English means exaggerated form and if we're going to say um, accurate translation so we can say keep counting it what it refers for keep counting the money yes Yamaram can you tell me pardon Maram, can you tell me what's meant by keep counting the money to collect the money and keep counting it? Is it like being obsessed with money and always needing more? Yes. W what you can say about this person, how you can describe this person in one yeah, word? He... Greedy. One word. Huh? Greedy. Excellent. So here... We are speaking about a greedy and also stingy person. So Allah is talking about such people because such people, they are always thinking of collecting, how to collect the money and keep it. And not keep it only, keep counting. You will find him all the time, he's concerning about his money and how much now his account in the bank. This is what all, all the time goes in his mind. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about such people, how they are thinking in ayah 3. يَحْسَبُ أَنَّ مَا لَهُ Now such type of people, here when, they, when we say يَحْسَبُ Yahsabu means they think the people who are thinking who are doing that, the scroners, the mockers, and greedy and stingy, they think Yahsabu, they think that their money will keep them what keep them immortal. He will stay for forever in this life. So such type of people who are only concerning of collecting money and keep uh, counting and counting, they think that their money will keep them immortal. So the ayah number four is coming to tell us that Allah is telling us it's no, it's not like that. That it comes the word kalla. It's not like what they are thinking. No. It's not like what they are thinking. So what happened, Ya Rabb, for them? So Allah is telling us kalla. Layum bazanna fi al hutama. Now. Here Allah is telling us it's not as they are thinking. So what will happen since it's not as they are thinking? Allah is telling that they will first know when you say here no. When no, the enemy means that it's not happening, it's that it's not like what they are thinking. No, it's not like that. So, what will happen to them? They will layum badanna. The word the layum badanna 
here in Arabic language, the lamb is called the lamb for the qasam, for the oath. And also for the confirmation that Allah mentioned that uh, they surely will be thrown, will be thrown where in Al Hotama. Who is Al Hotama? Who can tell me? Al Hotama is what? Yes, ya aya. Is it like crusher? What is the crusher? Refers to what? Um, the like the half the fire, the eternal fire Excellent. of Allah. We can say it is one of the names of the hellfire. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the crusher is one of the names of the hellfire. You will find in the Quran, the hellfire comes in many names. Sometimes you will say, you will see Jahannam, Al Jahim, um, and Nar Al Jahim, Al Sa'ir. And now Al Hutama is another name of the names of the Hellfire. And Subhanallah, in every name you will you will see another description of the Hellfire. It is not just names in Quran. And this is very important space that you have to know about Quran that there is no synonymous. There is no me in, in multiple meaning. Yani, there is the same meaning. No word have the same meaning. Every word in Quran have a specific meaning. You cannot say that this word is like this word is like this word. No. You will find that every word is different. And this is the miracle of the Quran. That he brings the, uh, the uh, words in the Arabic language which exactly suits the ayah and suits the uh, surah. So al Mahir is one of the names of the hell fire. And it means that the crusher, that the people who will enter this hellfire will be crushed, will be crushed. So Allah wants to tell us more about al hutama or the crusher. If you want to know more description. So in ayah uh, five, Allah is saying, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْحُطَمَ so we, we, we took this before. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْحُطَمَ Means what? Means here Allah is saying to his prophet and to us also. And what will make you know about الْحُطَمَ now, this is a question I'm asking you. What will make you know what is al hutama If you want to know about al hutama or if you want to know what is al hutama who will tell you and how you will know? Can you answer me? Anyone, can you answer this question? The question is like in the ayah. What will make you know what is al hutama Can you answer this question? Yes, Ya Alia. Allah's miracles or his oh, Prophet Muhammad? Now, what will make you know what is al hutama is? We know uh, from where the hutama is, the kar karma? From the Quran. Excellent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the one who will tell us about al hutama in the Quran, in his words. So Allah will tell us about that, or about al hutama where in his words, in his words, and when I say in his words means Al-Quran. Okay, so Allah is going to tell us now what is Al-Hutama. 
in ayah 6. Allah is saying it is Naru Allah al muqadah So, here Allah is start to tell us, Naru Allah al muqadah means that it is a fire of Allah which eternally fueled. Now when I telling you Allah is telling you that Hutama is Narullah al Muqada the fire of Allah which eternally fueled. What you feel now, what this ayah gives you or refer to what? What is uh, this ayah refer to what? Who knows? Refer to what? Yes, Alia. Hellfire? No? Hellfire? Now Allah is telling you the hutama is the fire of Allah which is eternally fueled. Now, what does it mean? What does it mean the fire of Allah? The when I tell fire. you this is the fire of Allah, the hell fire is the fire of Allah. What you can say, if, if I say, explain to me more, what does it mean fire of Allah? Khadija, you know? Uh, I think it's like the punishment another they will get, and it's fair. And Very painful. Yes. Right? When you see here that the fire of Allah means that it's very painful. Now we have the fire in this life. We cannot bear it. And according to came in the hadith of the Prophet, the fire in this life that we are seeing is just one part of 99 parts of the hell fire. So it means that the hell fire will be 99 times stronger than the fire that we can see in this life. So you can imagine when this ayah comes to you and tell you Narullahi, the fire of Allah, which is 99, is stronger in its burning effect than your fire in this life. So you can feel how much it is very painful to those who are going to enter this hellfire. What more about this hellfire? Alati tattali'u ala al-af'ida. Tattali'u ala al-af'ida. Allah is saying about this hellfire, this is the fire of Allah, which tattali'u Yani, we can say which is um, directed to the hearts. Al Afida means the hearts. Now, I want to ask you why the hearts? Tattali'u ala al Afida. Al-Af'ida in Arabic is a plural, and the singular is Fu'ad. Now, why Allah mentioned about the hearts, that the first place this hellfire will go, will go directly to the heart? Anyone knows why the heart? Huh? Well, I will tell you, because the heart... The heart is the master. The master of the body. If the heart is good, so all the body will good. 
So all the body will be good. And if the heart is bad, all the body will be bad. Now, how I don't know this, who said such uh, talk? It is the Prophet ﷺ. He mentioned that in the body of all of you, there is a, an organ or a piece of um, like an organ that if this organ is good, all the body will be good. What does it mean, good or bad? Yeah, it means if the heart is obeying Allah and making good deeds, so the hand will be good. The eyes will just look only for the halal things. You will hear only the obedience of Allah. You will be away from other bad uh, uh, yani singers or bad um, things that you can hear by your ears. Your tongue will say the good things will not say a bad words or ill speech. Your foot will or your feet will go to the masjid, would go to the charity, uh, uh, things. Uh, you will go for a school for the, with the intention that you will be a good Muslim. So this is the heart. What's in your heart? What's your intention? If you have a good intention, you will have a good doings or deeds. If you have a bad intention, so the whole body will do bad things. That's why those who are thrown to the hellfire, definitely they had bad heart and they are, did a lot of sins. That's why the punishment will be such horrible hellfire that will eat their heart. Then Allah is still describing for us this type of fire, the fire of Allah. إنها عليهم مؤصدة إنها عليهم مؤصدة What does it mean إنها عليهم مؤصدة means that it is which is the hellfire or the حطمة it is uh, closed or firmly Closed, closed upon them. Firmly closed upon them. They cannot escape. Here giving you the uh, feeling that they will not, they can't escape. And also, في عمد ممددة إنها عليهم مؤصدة في عمد ممددة here, amadin, yani columns around it in extended columns. In extended columns means that even uh, if uh, it's closed, but there will be extension of this closure, the presence of. Uh, the columns, extended columns, which actually ayah 8 and 9 give us the meaning that they cannot escape from it. They cannot escape from it. <coughs> so is it clear now for all of us? Time. Now we'll come to lessons from the surah. The surah finished, khalas. The surah finished after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about the a punishment of such person who wears kroner and uh, mocker and keep collecting money and keep counting and counting again. So uh, he will be punished to be in the hutama. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us who is al hutama and what is al hutama and how it is a fire of Allah and how anyone will going to be 
uh, inside it will his heart will be burned and we mention why the heart and that fire will be closely uh, firmly closed upon those people inside and in extended columns that not only closed the closure is very secured by such extended columns now we'll come to lessons. Who can tell me the first lesson we learned from this surah? Hmm. Who can tell me? Yes, ya Khadija, can you tell me one lesson from this surah? Uh, one lesson is that you, if you have these characteristics, it's bad. Yani, this is very good. The, the thing that we can say to avoid such character, uh, avoid to be like uh, such character, such character to be scroner, to be mocker, because it's very, I think it's very common in your schools, you can say, you can see that scroners, mockers, mocking all the time, bullying, all these things. The Muslim shouldn't do that so this is number one excellent avoid to be such character to avoid the punishment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number two who can tell me what else number two huh maram can you tell me what you can learn from this surah um Hmm? I'm not sure. Now we mentioned the surah, the whole surah explanation. What you learn after we finish now? What's the new information for you? Uh. Uh, that we shouldn't be what? We shouldn't be greedy, mocker. Mm -hmm. Corona, yeah. right? This is number one. What else we learned in this surah about? I'll make it easy for you. It's in ayah seven. What's in ayah seven? We should learn from it. That if your heart is good, that everything is good. Excellent. So, what should I learn to keep a to keep my to keep heart, your heart pure? Excellent. To keep to keep your heart. Good and pure. How to keep your heart good and pure? Maram? How to keep your heart good and pure by what? Doing good deeds and not being like the people listed in the surah. Yes, by obeying Allah. By obeying Allah commandments, our commands. And avoiding what? Avoiding his prohibits, prohibitants. So this is the way. This is the way that uh, you keep uh, your heart pure and good by obeying Allah commands and avoiding what he prohibited. Okay, type. Anyone can add number three. What else we learn from the surah? Karma, you have something to add? No. Are you sure? <laughs> Who else, Taib, can add? Uh, yeah, you have something to add? Learn lessons from surah? Um, you don't, like, be selfish and, like, greedy and, like, you got to, like, Yes, this is what we mentioned actually in number one, that to avoid this character, this character is to be mocker or to be scroller or to be greedy. All this mentioned here in such character. It's very important, as you mentioned. And don't, um, don't spread all the time in doing uh, accounting your money or make your things but if we're going to say that this person who is a greedy person is 
spending all his time counting and counting and counting his money. Now, when we say lessons from the surah, we can learn what? To spend our time in what? Huh? Shall we, shall we, uh, like this person, the greedy person, spend the time in counting our money or spend our time to do what? Who can tell me? Hmm. Karma? And use time wisely. To spend our time wisely. Um, can you give me more, more explanation how to spend time wisely? To do what, Yani? Um, like you can do things that um are good, like excellent. Like, and do good dinner. things is one in remembrance of Allah. This is another one. Remember remembrance of Allah, and also um we can read read Quran. We can read the seerah, the seerah of the Prophet. So read Quran and seerah. Also, we can um, read beneficial signs. All these things that we can do in our in our time, but not spend the time. In